All right, hello, my name is Tom Shervelotti and I am the supervisor here at the Burlington State Fish Hatchery. This hatchery is owned and operated by the state government of Connecticut, uh, the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection, which is DEEP or DEEP. Uh, so this, as I said, this is a state hatchery, which means all of the fish that we raise here are raised with the purpose of releasing them into streams and rivers and ponds and lakes all throughout Connecticut and we call that stocking. So our whole goal is to stock fish with the intention of anglers in Connecticut catching them. So our objective is to help you catch more fish. That's more or less what we're here for um, and this is a long uh, tradition for state government. We've been raising fish. The state of Connecticut has been raising fish and in, in this particular hatchery we've been raising fish since 1923. So it's nearly 100 years old and as you can see the facility behind me this is the exact building that was here. Uh, this building was actually moved here from the town of Farmington. It was an old dance hall. So they were very um, creative back in 1923, but, um, but this particular hatchery was built at this location for the water source. We have artesian wells, which are the variety of wells where they're free flowing water, which means you don't need any electricity and you don't need any pumps. Um, and essentially what's happening is the water is flowing out of the ground into pipes and it's directed to the tanks. We get rid of some carbon dioxide gases that are in the water and we also um, add oxygen to the water using some aeration equipment. But basically the water is free flowing so we don't have to spend a lot of money in energy costs uh, to get the good quality cold water that these trout need. And at this facility we raise brook trout, brown trout, and rainbow trout. And we also raise a variety of salmon called the kokanee salmon. That's a Pacific variety of salmon and it's uh, related to the sockeye salmon. Which means in the fall when they do spawn, they spawn and die um, as opposed to the Atlantic salmon uh, that spawn and live for several more years. So welcome to the fish hatchery and we're about to take a tour.